I'm a 20th century historian uh, focused on social movements in the United States and India. Really, anytime someone tries to fight for democracy, I'm interested, but I get really interested if their efforts cross national borders. My new book is about the relationship between Gandhi and what he ate. And that relationship is a wonderful way to look more broadly at the link between social movements and the daily lived experience of the people who participated in them. So how does trying to fight for a better world intersect with the most intimate questions that we face on a daily life? Well, food is one of the key bridges between the larger questions uh, that someone like Gandhi struggled with and the most basic everyday elemental questions we all have to ask ourselves. So, how do we, what's, what's for dinner, and how do I cook it, and what does it do for me and for my body? Those sorts of basic questions get linked up to questions like how do I fight for a better world? What does it mean to try to um, fight for freedom? What, what is the independence that I want for my country? So there's this, I think, quite rich link between Gandhi's personal life and this larger political world, and food is, is one of the key bridges between the personal and the political.